short stories in English. Qin was the founder of the Qin dynasty and was the first emperor of a unified China. When he was 38, after Qin had conquered all of the other warring states, he unified all of China in 221 BC. Qin was the first man to control all of China. He died of natural causes, but during his brief rule, he called himself Shi Huangdi. Qin made significant changes to China. The Great Wall. Qin set people to work building the Great Wall. He believed the country needed better protection. Just as cities had the wall built around them, he wanted a wall built around China. He greatly weakened the nobles. Qin took land away from the nobles so they would lose most of their control and wealth. He did not want the nobles to band together to remove Qin from power. He greatly weakened the teachers and scholars. Censorship was introduced. Qin burned what he called useless books. If a book was not about agriculture, medicine, or prophecy, it was burned. Scholars who refused to allow their books to be burned were either burned alive or sent to work on the wall. He built public works projects. Qin put some people to work building bridges, roads, canals, and systems of flood control. He created a system of standardization. Qin introduced one system of weights and measures, one system of money, the same written language, the same laws, all systems of standardization to be used all over China. Qin did not believe that he was cruel. His systems of protection, standardization, and job assignment probably saved millions of lives from floods and famine and war. Qin thought of himself as an outstanding leader. He used to say, a thousand may die so that millions may live. Qin had planned that his son would take over one day. After Qin died of natural causes, his son tried to rule the country. A peasant led a revolt against Qin's government officials. People all over the country joined in the revolt. The revolt was successful. That peasant became the new emperor. He called his dynasty the Han Dynasty.